Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. We never run out of amazing stories to share with you and if you want to feel good by watching our stories, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell symbol for notifications. Our feature story today is about true love and a parent and child relationship. Marian is a rich young woman who just graduated from a fine university in Europe. Her parents are well-to-do, that's why they could send her to a good school. They supported her well in everything. Despite their high status in society, Marianne was modest and remained a simple girl. She had no interest in any luxuries, unlike her mother who was very materialistic and lavish. Naturally, her mother wanted Marianne to find a man who is also rich. She was already looking for the perfect match for Marianne. In one of the parties she attended, she met another mother who is also rich. She has a son and her mother thought to match them up. The guy's name is Nicholas. They own a very successful business in Europe. Marianne's mother was devising a plan to introduce the two to each other. But the mother and daughter's life was about to take a different turn. The simple girl was really kind. She helps in an animal shelter by giving food to dogs and cats there. In one of her visits, she met a volunteer named Thomas. He was a student and would go to the shelter when he was off school. They instantly clicked as friends and spent more and more time together. Gradually, each one developed special feelings for each other. He was hesitant to tell her at first because she might reject him, knowing their differences in life status. He was poor, and he and his mother had to work hard to survive. Finally, he was able to confess to her. Maria knew deep inside that she likes him too. But her mother found out before they could even start a relationship. As expected, her mother didn't approve because it would mean that her plans would go to waste. She decided to confront Marianne about it and demanded that she stop seeing him. She even told her that they did not give her a good education just to date a poor man. Marianne stood up to defend Thomas, telling her mom about his good intentions and being a good man. Her mother dismissed all of it and told her she was ungrateful for answering back. Marianne was so hurt, she cried all night and didn't leave her house for the following days. She told Thomas she was sick and could not go out to see him. In reality, she was so confused. She didn't know what to do about her situation. But she knows Thomas would understand, so she decided to tell him everything. She decided to see Thomas at the shelter to talk to him. He was not there. She searched for him, but he wasn't at his home either. She tried calling him, but no answer still. She had no idea where they went. Helpless, Marianne decided to move on. But, about half a year later, she was still sad. She finally met Nicholas, who was her mother's best candidate. She told her Nicholas suits her because they're of equal rank in terms of social status, and he would not leave her, unlike the poor man. The young woman decided to give Nicholas a chance in her heart. She eventually agreed to marry him. On the day of their wedding, she was so excited to see her groom. When she went to the room, she didn't find him there. His phone was there and there was a message. She tried to read the message and it was from her mother. Her curiosity increased as she read the text. Her mother was congratulating Nicholas for a job well done. Everything went well according to their plans. Marianne was at a loss, so she continued to read other messages from her mom. She could not believe her mom telling Nicholas how to woo her. She wanted to form a close relationship with a man's family, and she did everything to achieve that. She realized everything she shared with Nicholas was unreal. She was so hurt until she got to the part that almost crushed her heart. Her mother was the one behind Thomas's disappearance. She met with Thomas to tell him Marianne was engaged to be married to another man and that she was only playing with him. 
He was even offered a huge amount of money, but Thomas declined. Thomas obeyed Marianne's mom's demand to disappear from her life. Marianne was crying while reading the messages. She was so confused and decided to run away from the wedding. She immediately packed her luggage and checked in at a hotel. Once she regained some composure, Marianne proceeded to look for Thomas. She started by calling each shelter in the city for she knew Thomas would not give up his love for animals. True enough, she found him in one of the shelters. The girl on the line told her that Thomas reports to the shelter every Tuesday. Marianne was so happy at the thought of seeing her love once again. Tuesday came and Marianne went to the shelter. She was so thrilled to see the familiar man standing at the shelter. She called out his name and rushed towards him. Thomas turned around to see her. He was stunned to see Marianne after a long time. They missed each other so much and hugged each other tightly. Marianne asked Thomas why he disappeared so suddenly without telling her. The guy told her about betraying him. She revealed it was her mother. She was teary-eyed while explaining everything to him. Thomas felt so bad for what his love must have gone through. He admitted to her about moving to another place after his encounter with Marianne's mom. He didn't have the guts to fight for his love knowing she was marrying another man. They decided to catch up by starting a relationship and soon agreed to get married. Marianne was modest enough to invite her parents to the wedding, but they did not come. But when she got pregnant, her mother changed her mind. She was looking forward to seeing her grandchild. Marianne had already forgiven her. Their tarnished relationship began to improve gradually, and eventually her parents accepted her family. This story reminds us that blood is thicker than water. No matter what one goes through, a family is still a family, and no matter how you try to hinder a great love, it will always find its way. Do you agree with me? Send us your opinion and reaction in the comment box below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.